Good morning, everybody. Jason here. Happy Monday. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So today, Tesla, we popped up a little bit, a little bit more. So new all-time highs. Um, have no idea where resistance is going to be. Uh, we're we're literally in uncharted territory up here. So uh, last, boy, nope, that's my account. Uh, let's look at Tesla real quick. So last, last week, actually, I think on, no, the live stream or the day before, um, we saw a little bit, I mean, we keep seeing this little bit of consolidation here. So I expect that we'll need to see the same thing up here. Um, have no idea where to start these lines, but, um, oops, let's, uh, go back over here on the daily um, but I don't know where this is going to come back to but somewhere in here I think we'll see some consolidation and I don't see any major movement to the downside maybe a pullback to 930s or so before we see some um, some more breakout uh, but I don't see anything down much further than that um, obviously today we're doing pretty well in the account uh, up uh, 12,000. The only thing I opened this morning were our plays on Tilray, uh, part of our wheel. So we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting pretty close to where we might be able to be profitable on it. So we did sell, we sold four of our covered calls at 14, one at 12. And that was after a conversation I had this weekend, which was pretty interesting, kind of shifted my thought on it a little bit. Um, and basically what that was, was right now, the $14 call is two weeks out. I'm only able to collect a small amount of money. Um, well, 10 bucks, which isn't terrible, but 40 bucks for the week. And at 12, I can collect 32. Uh, I do have shares that I got assigned to at $12. And the thought process is if Tilray does go up and these shares get called away from me at $12, well, then Tilray will be at a level to where we can collect um, quite a bit more premium at the $14 level, making that worth it. These shares get called away from me at 12. I collected 30 bucks on them, and I did get assigned at 11 for my um, the last time I got assigned. So we're $100 profitable on it, plus whatever we sold the $11 put for, and um, plus the $31 that we collected on this. So kind of a um a little a little wheel inception so a wheel within a wheel essentially um but that is a thought process there um and then of course we sold our put our ten dollar put uh we were only collecting collected eighteen dollars on that but that'll just go into lowering the cost basis of tilray overall so that is it that i need to really play i think this week um our put credit spreads what they're only worth four bucks at 7.95 four and nine bucks uh <laughs> i need to roll these out to somewhere because it's not very much more money to collect but it's also getting um it's kind of like where do we roll into still collect some decent premium i did open up 10 more on the live stream and I keep opening these up at places where I think we can get in the money so I can show you how I deal with that once the underlying drops. So I thought we had the sell off after after earnings. Uh, I opened up one of these initially and then we opened up um, we opened up a few more. So these guys are already up about 40 percent. And then I opened up on the where's the live stream guys opened up 10 of these thinking these might be in the money, but we opened these up for 200 bucks a piece or two bucks a piece, up 35% on those. So those are now looking pretty dang good. Um, I mean, all I can do is sit here and check in once in a while, see how green we are, probably roll out some of the ones that are closing this Friday. Maybe we'll go ahead and roll one of those out. So with $4 to collect here, might as well.
We have five of these. Big question is where do we roll these out to? And as we hit these new highs in uncharted territory, I don't know. <laughs> I wish it was I wish it was so simple. Um I think eight we'll go with eight eighty here. that was that was one of the levels where we did have a bounce so all right 89 bucks sounds fair we have five of those and uh where does it want to fill us 87 86 ish 90. let's see if we can get filled for 90 because it was looking like there was almost a dollar spread in those well i guess minus the four dollars we need to pay Close the other ones. See if we can get filled here. Let's try lucky number 88. And not going to get filled there either. My Robin Hood seems to have sped up a little bit. I cleared out just about every everything I could think of and cleared up a bunch of memory. So maybe it was just a, a me issue, not a Robin hood or a phone issue. Cause I don't think I can buy a faster phone now. There we go. Got filled at 85 bucks a piece. So we're taking the eight eighties, collected a little bit more cash and, uh, we may do the same thing. Yeah, let's do the same thing with these six more dollars to collect. The three of them. Ooh, nine dollars. Or should we wait till? Let's either either do that or wait a little bit later in the day, and then we can collect some more premium if it happens to dip. Here's the deal with uh, with Tesla and the news this morning. Uh, I don't know what component of this or how much of the. Uh, rip up is attributed to the fact that Hertz purchased, or I don't know if they've purchased or already entered into agreement, but basically they're buying a hundred thousand Teslas. Tesla doesn't need that, um, which is like as much as we like to decipher news to the downside, uh, to the upside as well. Um, I think it's just as important. Tesla's already sold out for you know from from now till whenever they can produce the cars let's see that one was a little bit lower so we should oh but now tesla's kind of going up here let's see if we can grab it 80 bucks how many of these there were there were three of them i think come on why well, i want to do it that's frustrating come on Try again. Oh, there we go. Let's type in three. And see if we can grab 85 bucks on those. Oh, these ones had nine or ten dollars more to go, so we'll probably have to replace this a little bit lower. Oh, if we got filled at 88 on the other ones, should be able to get filled at least at 80. Unless Tesla just doesn't slow down. But anyhow, yeah, Tesla just doesn't need it. It's, uh, <laughs> Tesla's already sold out from now until whenever. It's not like you can order cars now and you can end up with them in a couple weeks or even a couple months. It's literally, it's six months out to where if you order a car, that's when you get it. So they don't really need the demand. Demand is 100% there. Uh, and they're already building the cars as fast as they can. Building the batteries as fast as they can. Building the batteries, building the battery factories to make the batteries as best as, as fast as they can. Buying as much batteries as external suppliers have available. Um, the Tesla said several times they'll take them all as long as it's at a reasonable price. Uh, and 
they're building factories to build more cars as fast as possible. So, so that is not really important news as far as the upside. Uh, a portion of it's got to be just a continuation on great, great earnings and just good outlook on the stock itself. So <clears throat> take that with a grain of salt, however you want it. Uh, but as far as we're going, I think that is it. Got those couple rolled out. We do have some expiring next week. And, yeah, we've just got a few more dollars to collect here. These look like they could be a good candidate for just rolling up. I may roll those up to like 850 or so. Some of these, some of these ones we only have 10 more bucks to collect. I don't even know why we have this one. We have like one straggler out here, but 90% up in how long have we had this? October 12th. Yeah, 10 days. 10 days, not bad for 90%. All right, guys, any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Love you, and let's make a lot of money.